Mandalika, Mandalika, Intercultural School. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Chris here, and welcome to yet another um, MIS Principles vlog. I hope you are all doing uh, very well and uh, lots of stuff uh, to go over with you today. So let's get straight into it. So we're in March uh, 2023. We are starting to pick up pace. Time just seems to fly, does it not? And a quick reminder for any of you actually watching this for the first time, um, or any, for you, any of you watching this for a, an, another time, um, I will be as quick as I can, but please remember the aims of this are very important. They're to improve our communication, of course, within the, the golden triangle between parents, teacher, and student. They're to keep you up to date with what our senior leadership team uh, have been doing. And they are, of course, to make you aware of any important um, upcoming events and activities we want you to be a part of, want you to be aware of. So March then uh, is upon us and uh, we had a lovely February uh, if you remember the theme was uh, about kindness and being caring and that really was a great month we had so many fun activities and I think all of our students really engaged in that um, not at least uh, the culminating end of month house competition which went very very well super excited for the next one at the end of this month Anyway, moving on, of course, not leaving kindness and caring uh, behind. That's always in our thoughts. But we're very much focusing uh, this uh, month on literacy, uh, in particular, uh, writing and reading. Um, this is something that, uh, as a community, I really want to focus on and get all of our children uh, reading throughout school. And, of course, when they go home, mum and dad, if you're watching now, please sit down with your son or daughter um, even more than you do already and listen uh, to them read to you wonderfully well. What a, a lovely time that is uh, in the bedroom before um, they go to sleep or uh, even in some relaxed time on the sofa, somewhere comfortable and uh, really, really um, give them some positive support. Reading is so powerful as we're going to go much more into over this month at school. Uh, other news, we had, uh, we had a nice visit from a Mr. Chris Gunn. Uh, he came all the way from uh, BSJ, British School Jakarta. He's actually the, the head of campus facilities and services. And there he is, you can see, standing there next to Mr. Dylan, who, of course, well, it's his uh, nemesis. Uh, he is our operations manager on our campus. So you could imagine they had lots uh, to talk about. BSJ is a very renowned school. It has over, I think, 1,200 students, more than that. Um, it's been there a long, long time. But again, uh, talking with schools like this, uh, focusing on how we can potentially collaborate, how we can partner up in terms of even, for example, a summer school program, students from them, from BSJ, coming to have a, a great time. Uh, with us and vice versa as well. So really enjoying uh, as principal getting to know uh, more and more schools around our region. We're still on recruitment drive. Uh, we're having a lot of interest and uh, I still want to put this up there. We are recruiting for both local and foreign hires, uh, primary homeroom teachers, uh, any specialist secondary teachers, admin marketing positions as well. Um, and as I put there, Cambridge proficiency is uh, a benefit and not necessarily needed, but is certainly a benefit. Please, if you know anyone, uh, you're watching this and you'd be interested, send your CV or get them to send their CV to info at mandalika, uh, dot com. Uh, now then, let's focus on uh, entering and exiting procedures, uh, drop-off, pick-up times. I have to, first of all, say a huge thank you to all of you watching this. And uh, I have to say it's been going very, very well. It's a lot more smoother. It's a lot more safer. And um, I just really uh, like to show uh, my appreciation on behalf of myself and um, our staff 
uh, that um, we're following the protocols, procedures, and uh, it's really working very well. I hope uh, you agree with that. So a big thank you to that and seeing a lot more uh, helmets being worn as well. And uh, that will be, I hope, phased in more and more as uh, this year goes on. Um, some other good news, uh, the temperature gauge. We are getting rid of that. No more uh, temperature analysis needed by our, uh, our security team at the gate. So you can pop in and pop out without having um, uh, uh, well, a thermometer gun pointed at you. Uh, what I will say is, though, uh, on an important note, is, again, I think just general uh, common sense as us as, as mums and dads, if your child does wake up and they do have a temperature, and it's over 37.5, they're showing fever, they may be vomiting, they may have um, diarrhea symptoms, then please keep them at home. Uh, do not let them come to school. They can have a day off. I say not have a day off. They can, uh, they can do some homework and do some reading, especially this month. And, um, you know, if they're in the upper primary, uh, secondary, they can be getting on with their IXL, their maths and their English language arts, and also, of course, our RAS reading program, and maybe other homeworks that the teachers will um, prescribe for them uh, on their various specific Google Classroom. So again, if a uh, son or daughter wakes up with a fever, it's over 37.5, or they've been vomiting, or they have diarrhea, please keep them at home and make sure that they're free of those symptoms for at least uh, 24 hours before bringing them back uh, to campus. Again, much like the entering and exiting procedures, really appreciate all of your support on this. There's a number there. Um, if you don't have this number in your WhatsApp, please uh, pause the video. Uh, I'm gonna go back to it again in a bit, but please add this to your contact. This is the official uh, MIS, Mandalika Intercultural School WhatsApp uh, number. And what we would like you to do uh, is to uh, tell us as soon as possible if um, your child cannot come to school, um, preferably uh, the day before uh, the, uh, the school time or before eight o'clock, I think at the latest, um, before the school day starts, we can then relay the messages onto the teachers and they can get work out to you uh, accordingly if, uh, if needed. So let's follow on from that and talk about some new procedures that we've introduced uh, for early leavers, for children, for students on campus that need to leave for a particular reason uh, before the end of the day. Um, please note that this is for the safety of your child and it is in the best interest of their education. And, and uh, please do support, like you have done uh, in previous slides, uh, this procedure too. So what does it mean? Basically, if your child needs to leave school early um, that particular day, so not sick, uh, he or she comes to school for lessons, uh, but they do need to leave school early for any particular reason, please, uh, once again, there's the number, send a message, uh, just write a message to our official MIS WhatsApp number. Um, it would take you less, I'm sure, than uh, one minute and request an early pickup uh, for your child uh, along with the reason. So you'll be putting in the name, and the date and the time that they will need to leave and the reason. And that will then be sent on uh, through our admin and will uh, be approved and you'll get a message back. Um, really, really, really important that we stick uh, to this, especially as we grow and our school gets bigger. Again, it is based on safety and giving the best education to your children. Also, most importantly for our teachers, it's for them to be aware and prepared if one or two or maybe more of their students are leaving at some point earlier than the intended uh, exit times. So there you go, plus six two eight one three five three five seven eight three four five. Add it now, and if your child's sick or they need to leave early, please uh, go through our WhatsApp, our official WhatsApp number, and send us a message. And that is how it will work. Uh, what else did I uh, want to potentially say on that? Um, I wanted to say absolutely nothing. There you go. I think it's been more than clear. Um, any questions, of course, we're here to answer them. Come to reception uh, or send us an email or even uh, why don't you send a question uh, to our number? So there you go. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. If uh, your child does need to leave earlier than the normal exit time, please uh, try to message our number 
you know, more than an hour or 20 minutes before their intended exit time. Again, it gives us time to be aware and be prepared uh, for the student in question. What we would really like is for you to let us know at least a day before. Uh, if you can't do that, then at least give us how about four hours? Uh, that would be really, really helpful. Okay, moving on. Uh, MIS uniforms, you may have seen uh, some in the uh, reception, uh, reception area. There they are. Wonderful white tops for our primary and secondary uh, with, a, with a, a navy collar. And then we have these blue tops here for our younger ones in, um, in the early years. So they are available now. Um, it's not compulsory. You don't have to uh, wear them, but I will say that there is a deadline date. Uh, if you do want to get some of these for term four, starting in April, then you need to order them, please, uh, by Monday the 13th of March. So by M Monday the 13th of March, please come in and see us or send us an email and make your order for your school uniforms. One other thing I will mention on the uniforms, they are not compulsory as of yet. Um, but we would really love uh, to see them, especially on Mondays uh, for our assemblies. And of course, when we go on field trips, uh, that would be most excellent. Uh, so then, yeah, we had another uh, PSG parent support group meeting uh, that happened, I believe, uh, when was that last Friday? Yeah, March the 3rd. Uh, again, a really nice uh, attendance from um, some of our parents and uh, yeah the meeting went very well uh, we discussed uh, a lot of things um, one of which actually happy Friday snacks on that particular day a, a, a group of parents uh, really kind a, again helped out by arranging and providing the happy, happy snacks and they were chocolate croissants very nice I know the children absolutely loved it so again a big thank you to them but again, moving forward, we're talking about more initiatives where parents can become more involved on campus to support us and our children. So really good meeting uh, for that one. And I look forward to the next one in April time. One thing that did come from the meeting that I would like to go over again is this situation. So as you know, we have a, uh, a canteen area in our school where children eat there uh, every day at lunchtime. Uh, what we are wanting to do is really make this a heartbeat of our school and turn it into a fully functioning cafe uh, snack area all through the day. So not just at lunchtime, we're even talking now about opening at weekends as well as our campus becomes more full uh, and more used over the weekends. We would like uh, to have a fully established uh, cafe um, vendor in place here. So we are sending out a tender and uh, if you are maybe a f and um, business owner in the community or you may know of someone that could be interested uh, to come and open a cafe I, I'd, I'd love to call it as i've said to many cafe barracuda uh, one of our houses of course are the barracudas i don't know i really like the the ring to that cone we got the manta hall and the Cafe Barracuda, maybe the Komodo Library. Sharks, uh, something coming for you soon. Uh, don't worry. But yes, who would like to be interested, shall I say, in tendering for this wonderful opportunity? As you can see, it's a, a lovely location. Imagine that, having a nice coffee or sandwich or smoothie staring out on to the paddies in front of you. Uh, so I hope um, many uh, tender submissions will happen. And there is a deadline date, as you can see, uh, under the red circle, the deadline date for a tender submission for this opportunity is by Friday, the 31st of March, 2023. And uh, then we will go through all of the tenders and go to the next stage uh, of uh, this process. So really looking forward to that. And we'd like Cafe Barracuda or whatever it's called to be fully functioning from the beginning of term one. So that would be August time this year. My gosh, look at this. We're getting more full and fuller and fuller with dates. Uh, let's try and go through this. Important school dates and upcoming for this month. Uh, we have family football event happening this Saturday. So please come down uh, to that. More details will be put out, I'm sure, on our MIS announcements group. Uh, families are all welcome to come down and we're going to play some football. We have a caterer coming on site. 
and that's going to be uh, really fun. Dads, mums as well, if you're interested in an adult game, that's going to happen too. Uh, we then have uh, Nyepi, uh, the Balinese Hindu uh, Day of Silence, happening on Wednesday the 22nd of March. So there will be a no school on that day, and hopefully no talking too. <laughs> um, I don't think the students will go for that. Literacy week, <clears throat> as I said, the whole month is about literacy, but we we're really homing in, like we did at Kindness Week, for a full schedule for Literacy Week from the 27th to the 31st of this month. Happy Friday snacks. We'd love to get to a point where we're doing them every, uh, every Friday, but for now we're doing them two times a month and that will be happening on Friday the 17th and the last day of term on the 31st of March. We have another evacuation drill that's commencing on Thursday the 30th of March. We then have another Whopper monthly house competition. I'm not gonna say what it's gonna be, going to be very different to the other one there, a bit more academic this time. That's happening Thursday, the 30th of March. We then have our end of term culmination. It's a half day on Friday, the 31st of March. And once again, I reiterate the next PSG meeting, because we will be on holiday, will be held after them on Friday, the 14th of April. Uh, same place, same time at 10.15. So a lot going on in the MIS calendar uh, this week. There you go, www.mandalikaschool.com. And there's our email address if you have any questions or queries and can't pop in uh, to our reception. I will finish uh, with a literacy quote. Reading is a passport to countless adventures. Read, read, and read. And I look forward to all seeing you very soon on campus. And uh, yeah. Here we go. Speak to you soon. MIS over and out. Mandalika, Mandalika, Intercultural School.